Hello folks, my name is George. I would like to welcome you today. And our topic for today is going to be about how to groom a Yorkie, a Yorkshire Terrier video. So here we have a video. So what I'm going to do is, uh, let me show you how we got here to begin with. What happened here is, uh, this video is produced by OnlineGroomingSchool.com. You can visit the website, and what happens, we usually have specials. Today, it's over 62% off. Instead of $4.99, it's only $1.75. When you join, you can become a certified pet hygienist, certified pet groomer. So have a look at it. But I also want to show you something here. Here we have a quick test drive, and you watch the video here, and then you can uh, fill out the following form for your free test drive and your free ebook. It's my dog grooming guide, 500 page ebook. And once you fill this form out, it's going to uh, take you here. This is what you will download. And uh, this is my dog grooming guide, third edition. This is what actually the book cover looks like. And this one here uh, retails for $79.95 all yours for free just go ahead take your free test drive and uh, do that here once i signed up for the school this is what you look like you get 20 videos 20 dvds you can watch them online immediately and then you upload your uh, pictures here take your final test to become a pet groomer and a certified pet hygienist so one of the videos here is the Yorkie. So we'll just go ahead and click them, and we can watch a little bit of that, okay? Hello, and welcome to OnlineGroomingSchool.com. My name is Yvonne, and we have Tabitha here today. She's our Yorkshire Terrier, and she's going to, um, she volunteered today, by the way, to uh, show us how to groom a Yorkshire Terrier. I just wanted to show you really quick what a finished look looks like on a Yorkshire, all right? What we did is we, le we left the three quarters of an inch on this side, and what we did is we did one side so you can have a before and after look. Mm -hmm. So we did one half of the head. The head is not completely done yet, but once we have both sides, then we can even it all out and make it uh, balanced, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and turn her over, and you can see that's what we started with. So there's a, there's a subtle change, but you can tell that it looks a lot more neater on the other side and on this side. I'll show you again real quick. Sometimes you forget what it looked like. So that's a nice, neat look. All right? Hmm. Thank you, Tabitha. So we're going to work on this side. But I'm going to show you some, uh, some of the tools we're going to be using today. She's really good about not having to be on the, on the grooming restraint. So she's she's a good girl. I always advise you to always you have one available. Alright? Hmm. So we're going to use today uh, very simple tools. We are going to use a, a clipper. We have the Andes 2 speed clipper. And we're going to be using a number 30 blade today because we're going to be using attachment cones. Alright? And the attachment cones, what they do is um, you, put, you attach them to the 30 blade and the, the, depending on the model it'll tell you how much hair will be left on the hair. For instance, this number eight comb by Oster leaves about one inch on the body. So you may have a different brand, so just pay attention to what that particular comb leaves on the body. So it's what's left on the, on the body, not what it's gonna take off, all right? And here is one, you can see the difference, one inch, three quarters of an inch, and then you have your half an inch uh, attachment cone. All right. Um, we're also going to use uh, straight curves, some straights there. I also have uh, straight shears, excuse me. All right. And then we also have the curves. And these come in really handy. You should uh, always invest in a good pair of thinning shears. I'm going to use a greyhound comb just to comb out the hair. And then I always like to have a cordless clipper handy for any small areas I might be having trouble getting to. And of course, the grooming restraint. All right? 
so we're going to get started with the Tabitha here. She's gotten really comfortable, but we're going to have ask her to stand up. All right. So we're going to go ahead and just brush her out a little bit, or comb her out a little bit. She's already been bathed. All the pet hygiene um, stuff has been done on her. As you go on to purchase a video, if you're purchasing this video, it's just to learn how to groom a, a Yorkie that you can go online to, uh, to view the pet hygiene. Um, and also if you're purchasing the whole set, you can view the pet, uh, pet hygiene. Pet hygiene is very important with any dog. All right. So I, I want to show you the right, the right way of doing things because even though she's good... I Folks, let me show you uh, what Yvonne's talking about here, the pet hygiene video. I'm going to minimize this. Uh, also, you have two pet hygiene videos, so uh, let's have a look at Pet Hygiene 2, which is a continuation of the Pet Hygiene 1. Okay, so here we have a tick, and a tick is uh, relatively larger than, than, a, than the average flea. You can see, you can actually see the little legs, you know. Um, if you can hold them straight, I'm going to zoom in on it. There you go. Okay. All right. The important thing about a tick is you want to remove remove the head as well. You don't want to leave the head in there because then it relieves room for infection. So it looks like the tick is embedded itself this way. So you have to remove them out like that. You don't want to go against anything. All right. So here you we go. Move them downward. Yes. I know, sweetheart. I know it hurts. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and grab them. We're gonna pull them out. Ouch. See? Ow, so ow, there's ow. no head left in there. Uh-huh. And can, um, can I see this guy on yeah, the video? So folks, the pet hygiene videos will teach you how to clean the ears, how to de-shed the dog, how to uh, do so many things like flea dips, the bathing, the drying, the sani trim, uh, your uh, teeth cleaning, and all that stuff. Hygiene 1, Hygiene 2. And then the D shed also available. Hello and welcome to OnlineGroomingSchool.com. My name is Yvonne, and what we're going to teach you today is how to D shed a dog, and that's basically just how to remove the undercoat. But what first we're going to do is we're going to show you the tools of the trade, and then we'll bring in uh, Joshua to show you how to do that. So. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go, get into that. Uh, basic. Anyway, folks, uh, if you want to watch all this, I recommend you go ahead, take a free uh, test drive here. Make sure you like what you see. If anything, download your free book, right? Uh, let me go here, and we can go down. There's over 160 AKC breeds. So your key is with the Y, so it's a at the bottom of the index here, here's the Yorkshire Terrier showing you step-by-step -step instructions how to do it. And then also sign up and you can watch 14 steps to this final step. Watch the actual video. Become a certified pet hygienist, certified pet groomer. Thank you for watching.